you, Mr. Speaker. To accuse someone of supporting child pornography is just vile. And I think the minister needs to take responsibility for his comments. Because here's one quote. I think this bill is too intrusive. There's a lot of concern right across the country. Who said that? The member of New Brunswick Southwest. So now are Conservative MPs on the side of child pornographers? Because if not, will this minister stand up, apologize to the child victims for using them as political cover to push a bill that even the Conservative backbench wouldn't support for crying out loud? Public safety. Speaker, I won't apologize for ensuring that that victims of crime, especially children, are protected, and that's what we're going to do. Canada's laws do not adequately protect Canadians from online uh, online exploitation. We want to update our laws while striking the right balance between combating crime and protecting privacy. Let me be very clear. The police will not be able to read emails or view web activity unless they obtain a warrant by a judge. Now, remember for Timmons, James Bay. Well, Mr. Speaker, here's a good quote to help him. This is going to be a gold mine for the hackers and the real bad guys. Who said that? The Ontario Privacy Commissioner, because she's opposed to his bill that will force every telecom, telephone, internet, wireless provider to create these elaborate spy back doors so that they can snoop on law abiding citizens. So, what is it? Will he strike these provisions that are going to treat ordinary citizens as criminals, or is he going to continue to side with the hackers and the snoopers? Will he change that provision? Yes or no? As I've indicated, the police will not be able to read emails or view web activity unless they obtain a warrant issued by a judge. And I will continue to stand by the Ontario Attorney General, the NDP Nova Scotia uh, Attorney General, the NDP Manitoba Attorney General. In fact, every single Attorney General in this country supports this bill.